Falling is one of the scariest words for older adults. It conjures up fear of declining health, injury, and a slippery slide towards losing one's independence. But it doesn't have to be that way. Join us to learn about replacing the fear of falling with tools for fall prevention. Hello and welcome to Aging Insights. I'm Kathy Rowe, Executive Director of New Jersey Advocates for Aging Well. And today we're going to talk about not falling with our guest, Christine Conti. Christine is a chronic disease wellness specialist, fall proof prevention creator, specialist, and on top of all of that, a best selling author. So, Christine, welcome. We're very glad to have you with us today. Thank you so much for having me and providing me with this platform to share with all of your listeners and audience and beyond. Thank you. And so let's start by, tell us about yourself and how you shifted from a career in investments mm -hmm. into health and prevention. That's a very unusual shift. Very unusual. So I was a former collegiate athlete and I loved movement, I love athletics, and it provided me with so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. I love movement, that's it. And I love the way it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. I wound up going into investment banking because I was always told that fitness and exercise was a hobby. It wasn't oh. a full-time career. So I listened and okay. I did what people told me. Okay. And when I got there, I realized it wasn't my passion. Mm. Money's great, but that's not what really fulfills who you are. Mm -hmm. And I went, wound up going back to school to get my master's in education and leadership. And, okay. and I was a teacher. I was a professor of English. And in order to be a teacher, I also knew that I could coach. I also knew that I could fulfill my, my passion for mm -hmm. fitness and wellness by being a personal trainer and a group X and working in all these gyms and, and having my own business on the side and helping those people. But Fast forward, um, it really took a life-changing moment mm -hmm. um, to realize that my true passion was not just to be teaching in a classroom, mm -hmm. but to have a bigger platform around the world to help people realize their true potential mm -hmm. in nutrition and wellness and exercise and what that means for you right going forward as we all age. Great, great, those are really important things. But how did you become an advocate of fall prevention in, in all of that? How did that so, come about? So, um, just a really quick story is that when I was eight, at age 30, I was diagnosed with a life-changing autoimmune disease, on okay. and off uh, chemo for you know almost a decade. Wow. And in that time, I was able to, I, I'm blessed, I was able to study and research with top exercise scientists and mm -hmm. doctors and nutritionists. And let's just say I had my good share of falls okay. while I was sick. Mm -hmm. And as I watched my father age, mm -hmm. and as I watched my mother age, and of course, as we get older, sarcopenia, which is our loss of muscle, right. osteoporosis, your loss of bone, mm -hmm. and, and just seeing what was happening to them as both of them got sick. Mm -hmm. And um, my mother actually suffered a very bad fall. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and I was 10 feet away from her. Oh. And she had been undergoing some you know, chemotherapy and, and whatnot. And, and I remember thinking to myself, wow, I am here, I am right here, right. yet I feel so helpless. Mm. And that to me was, was an eye opener. Okay. Because as she actually had to be brought back and resuscitated, it, oh, it wow. was to that extent. And it wound up being because her medications were a little bit off. Mm -hmm. She was a little bit dehydrated. Okay. And it seemed like she was not sleeping well. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wow. How many, how lucky am I that I was here? Right. That if she was alone and no one was around, would the outcome been different? Right, right. And she did wear a medical alert mm -hmm. necklace. Yet when you're unconscious, you can't press, you the, button. Can't press right. the button. Right. So it got me thinking of, hmm, that being that I'm in fitness and, and being that I've gone through this myself, 
I bet there's a way, I, I, I know there's a way for me with the platform that I have mm -hmm. to get this information out on a bigger level. Right, right. And and would you just describe with your mom's scenario and what happened, there are a lot of different things that contribute to what could be a fall. It's not just tripping. It's, right. it's not one thing. It nope. might be something you wouldn't even consider that can contribute to a fall. Right. So we have to be aware of a lot of these other contributing factors that can impact us. Right. Your clothing, mm -hmm. for example. We don't realize, you know, it could be your shoes that mm -hmm. are haven't been replaced in. If your shoes are older than your grandkids or yeah. your kids, <laughs> you need to throw them out. And yeah. these are little things that we don't right, think right. of. Right. Um, and it, you know, it may provide a chuckle, but it actually could save a life. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, we hear, we hear a lot about falls. Um, it's one of the top things that doctors ask. So you go in the doctors to have you had a fall. Mm -hmm. um, so the awareness of it is increasing, and that's important. But why have the amount of falls been increasing over the years? Oh my goodness. Well, why have the why has the obesity rate been increasing? Mm -hmm. Why has diabetes been increasing? Why is our sedentary lifestyle increasing? Mm -hmm. These are the things that all contribute to the increase in falls. Okay. And right now, the the other thing I want you to think of is that we're living longer. We're True. living longer. Right. Our health span or our lifespan is growing. Mm -hmm. Right now it's about 85. Yeah. And if you think of people are retiring about 65. Mm -hmm. So what's happening between age 65 to 85? That I call your health span. Mm -hmm. So while our lifespan is growing, our health span is decreasing. Okay. That is a huge cause, or that's a huge reason right. for the increase in falls. Right. Because what's happening at that time? We're, we're becoming more and more sedentary. I mean, there's got to be only 90% of people are not exercising. And when I say exercise, I mean active. Okay. I mean walking. Right. I don't mean going to a gym. Right. Everyday natural it's, exercise. And that is what is starting to lack. Okay. We've got an increase in everyone's got a remote control. Everyone's true, got right? automatic <laughs> this, right? And technology is increasing. So the, what we have to do is less and less. Right. You don't even have to get up from the couch to change the TV no, anymore or no. to change the radio. You just call out, hey, Siri. The robot's vacuuming your home. <laughs> right. I mean, right. vacuuming is a great exercise. Yeah. Dexterity yeah. and, you know, some strength, coordination, little things. So not just like planning and going to the gym or a class, but the everyday activity and the everyday things that we do right. can strengthen us and, and add to our health. Sitting Make and standing. We sit and stand about 80% less than we used to. Oh, wow. And, and that's huge. That yeah. is huge because when you go to the doctor and they ask you, you know, there's a lot of great fall assessments. Mm -hmm. and we can talk about some of those. But one of them is you should be able to sit to stand from a chair mm -hmm. 10 times in 30 seconds. Okay. And as that number decreases, your increase for falls. Oh, interesting. Okay. Increases. Wow. So just the muscles and the practice and the balance that comes with getting up out of the chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. So these every day, these, these little things sound like they can add up to a lot. You know what's interesting is that when you think about your hands, mm -hmm. right? Think about our hands. We take these for granted all the time. Mm -hmm. These are huge when it comes to fall prevention. Fall prevention. How many times have you almost fallen, but you used your arms or right. your hands to catch yourself? Right. All the time. All, All the, the time. Every day, right? And these are little things that we don't realize that our, our, our grip strength, mm -hmm. yeah. When you say your grip strength measures your longevity, which actually there's a correlation, mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm positive it does because I just didn't fall on my head because I caught myself on the wow. railing or the banister wow. or the wall or the chair. There's such a connection that we don't make. Wow. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So you created an evidence-based program yes. called Fall Proof. Yes. Fall Proof Fall Prevention. Um, and trivia. Yes. So can't wait for that. So how did you come up with this, and how do you measure success under this program? Oh, this is great. There was a, there was a company, actually, that I was over the pandemic mm -hmm. that I started teaching some online classes for, and they cater to people in the VA. They're out of, the, they're out of Tel Aviv and L.A., 
Oh, wow. Now, now I'm in New Jersey, yeah. right? So Halfway in between how the does two. this happen? <laughs> and I, what they did is they reached out to me because they had this fall prevention class and it was not getting any good reception and okay. people weren't going to it and it was boring, right? <laughs> this is, no one wants to hear right. someone lecture about right. fall. Oh, the percentage of this and that. Right, right. Give me something that I can do, right? right. So they call up Christine Conti, whose <laughs> excitement is my middle name. And can you make this more interactive? And I said, let me try. Okay. So I decided to think about what's successful. It's about how you feel. Mm -hmm. It's about smiling. It's about laughing. And there's an importance to movement, of, of functional movement, whether yes. you're sitting or standing. And I wanted to make something that you can sit. You can be in a hospital bed. You can be standing. Whatever your your you know level is, mm -hmm. I'm going to meet you there. Okay. But we also need to educate about fall prevention, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a little movement okay. that we need. But then I want you to know about what can we do around the house? Right. What can we do changing seasons? What are mm -hmm. some little tips? Like like we said about your clothing, yeah. dehydration. Let's sprinkle these trivia questions in there mm -hmm. and make it interactive. Okay. Let's do some true false where you have to put your <laughs> hands up or thumbs down. So now you're getting involved. And then you know what? Brain science is really important. Okay. Because when you think of reaction time, yeah. when you think of, hey, you know what? I, I want to say yes for this and no for that and move my hand and mm -hmm. I want to give you some brain exercises and they call it, oh. you know, neurobics is my favorite. <laughs> okay. So I want to stimulate the brain cells. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ask you trivia questions about different themes that I pick for each class. Okay. Sometimes if it's around the holidays, I'll ask you questions about Christmas or Hanukkah mm -hmm. or Kwanzaa or um, today. You know, I may even talk about spring okay. because it's springtime. And what does that mean? And what fall risks are around? Mm -hmm. And you may just surprise yourself of I'll talk about trivia with fall prevention, but then I'll talk about some trivia with spring dealing okay. with our topic. All right. So good. that we kind of get you active and get the brain going yeah. as well. Well, we have some volunteers coming up soon that you can you can use all those yes. tools on. But um, I wanted to ask you first. Uh, you know, why do you think that everybody needs to take some fall prevention classes or action or do something? And you're not just senior citizens, not mm -hmm. just people of a certain age. You feel that everybody should really think about this. And why is that? Falls don't discriminate. True. They don't. Okay. Um, when we were babies, we fell all the time. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference because, number one, they're closer to the ground. Yeah. And as we're, uh, when we're younger, our bones are stronger. And if we do break a bone, they heal quicker. True. And, you know, our muscle decreases. I mean, your, your muscles, by the time you're in your 60s, mm -hmm. are almost 70% weaker than when you were younger. Oh, wow. It is, it is that important. And that's sarcopenia, which we have to have these yeah, words yeah. in our vocabulary, that it's not just one you know, demographic that right. needs this. And when you think of one of the statistics that really got me was when someone falls and, you know, over 65, they break their hip. 25% of people that fall, mm -hmm. break their hip, pass away within six months. Oh, wow. Six months. And it's not just because of that break. It's mm -hmm. because of your mentality. It's because of giving up. Mm -hmm. And now, maybe you were weak before, now you're weaker. You were unmotivated before, now you're... Right, right. And it's a compound effect. Right, like we said in the beginning, it, it's people are afraid. It conjures up a lot of fear. It can bring mm -hmm. on depression, can bring on anxiety. Right. There's a lot more to it than just the fall. Exactly, exactly. So before we bring out our volunteers, mm -hmm. um, can you just give us a, uh, some ideas now on what we can do right now? What the people watching or listening today, what we can do right now to reduce our fall risk? So Maybe your top five. Right this second, and we're going to talk about this when we do a little demo, but uh, one of my favorite things is so easy, and it's how to be the director of your best life. Okay. And when you think about a director, what do they say before they start a scene? Lights. Camera. camera action. Action. Before you enter any room, you go mm. into any place, what do you do? You turn on the lights. You look around with the camera. Uh-huh. And only then can you have action. 
Right. These three, so simple, mm -hmm. prevent so many falls. Wow, yeah. And it's lights, camera, action. Right, Direct and I can remember that. Life, <laughs> right? And the other thing is that when you are, when you are sitting, mm -hmm. have a glass of water with you, mm -hmm. have a water bottle with you. Yeah. Dehydration is such a high cause of falls. Yeah. And we don't realize that we live in a world that's dehydrated, whether yeah. it's the air or the air conditioning or the heat, or we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And if you're actually drinking half of your body weight in ounces per day, you're actually getting a good exercise because you're up and down to the bathroom so much. Right. <laughs> so most of us are not drinking that much okay. because of that. And, right. and again, these are little tiny things that make a difference. Check your, check your clothing. Are your, is your clothing loose? Is it right. getting caught on a, on a banister, a hook, a doorknob? Mm -hmm. right. Are you lifting your feet up when you walk mm -hmm. over thresholds, upstairs? Okay. And little things like this, are you getting up every 20 minutes to a half an hour just to get the circulation right. going right. in your body? Because without that, falls asleep, okay. your muscles get tight. Right, right. And those are just, I mean, I okay. can go on, but those are those the are really okay, good Okay, great. So now um, let's bring out our volunteers and you can lead us through a demonstration for some of your, some of your fall proof program yes. and some of your best tips. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome. I am Christine Conti, who just happens to be the creator of Fall Proof, Fall Prevention, fitness and trivia. And I'm so excited that you all are joining me today for a little demonstration of this fantastic evidence-based program that just happens to be a little bit of fun. So I hope you're ready today to experience some of this class. And what we're gonna be doing is working on our balance, our flexibility, our muscle strength, our brain function, which we could all use sometimes, and we are here to prevent future falls and of course have a little fun. So with that said, what I want you to do first is take your feet about shoulder width apart and I need you to sit up nice and tall. Remember your feet are your foundation and uh, we don't want a, a narrow foundation. So whether you're sitting or standing, get those nice and wide. All right, so before we start, before I give you the rules of the game of the class, we're gonna do a couple things. Number one, I want you to go ahead and look around your seat. Look around to the left, look around to the right, then go ahead and look up, and then go ahead and look around by your feet. Yeah? All right, raise your hand if you saw a possible fall risk. Anybody? No. Anybody? Oh, oh, we're ahead of the game already. Okay, and I was gonna say, if you saw more than one, put both hands up. All right, but this is what I want you to think about right now. Cords, wires, shoes, mats, throw rugs. I've got a real bone to pick with throw rugs sometimes, okay? Um, anything that you see on the ground that shouldn't be there, not just for yourself, but for people that may be coming to your home, because we don't want ourselves to fall and you definitely don't want anyone else to fall as well. That's number one. Number two, all right, if you want to live your best life, we are going to be directors. What do directors say? Lights, camera, camera. Action. Action. Okay. <laughs> easy. This is so easy to remember. I want you to remember it. I want you to tell everyone you know. Before you walk into a room, what are we going to do? Put on the lights. Flip the lights. Let me see it. Flip the lights with me. Flip the lights and then take out your camera. Look through your camera. Look around. <laughs> and only then can we have action. Let me see action now. Good. If you want to march or use your arms. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that again. Ready? Lights. Lights. Camera. Action. Keep the action. Can you have action without looking through the camera? No. 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 Can you see through the camera without the lights? Not at all. No. So we've got to direct our best life. We don't want a tragedy. We don't want anything to bad happen. So something good. All right. Next up, I'm going to be asking you some trivia questions. Some trivia questions are going to be about fall prevention. Some are going to be about our theme for today, which is going to be spring. Spring has sprung. So I'm gonna be testing your brains a little bit. If I ask you a question and you think it's true, this is what you do. Let me say, hands up. That's true, got it? And if you think it's false, thumbs down. All right, so you're not gonna look at your neighbors. Just own it, right? Because being wrong is part of like character education and building, so you got it. All right, in addition, we're gonna be infusing in some activities that are balance, coordination, flexibility, and lots of 
fall prevention movements. And that's it. Are you ready to get started? For sure. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So before we even do anything, I've got my trusty list of questions. And I'm going to ask you one to get started. And it goes like this. True or false? It is safe to leave lawn furniture such as chairs and tables outside year round. True or false? false. Oh, that is false. Get your thumbs down. <laughs> and if you got it right, give yourself a nice little pat on the shoulders. And I want you to think about this right now, not just for you, but for somebody else. You go to someone's house, the lawn furniture has been out there all year. What can happen to it? It'll somebody will trip get on it. weaker and it'll fall when you weaker. Go sit on it. Has anyone yeah. ever fallen through a chair? Raise your hand. No, my niece. <laughs> oh, all right. Nothing's worse than falling through a chair and having your legs up and your yeah. arms and becoming a pretzel. Okay. So these are things that are really important. So make sure not just at your house, but if you go somewhere else, check their chairs before you sit on them. Is it rusty? Is something wrong with it? Super important for fall prevention. All right. You ready? All right. So let's get after it. So there's your first question. And what we're going to do right now is get ourselves started marching. I want to increase that circulation, I want that blood flow going. And you know what? Once we, oh, look at you, you're even starting to run. Woo! Oh, I love it. All right, so we're marching. And as you do this, I want you to think shoulders back, chest is lifted, abdominals engaged, right? Shoulders back, chest is lifted, abdominals engaged. Poor posture, more falls. Better posture, less falls. There it is. And uh, lots of easy things to remember. Now, if you don't choose to march with us, if you want to just point and flex your foot, you can do that, all right? Sometimes if you're laying out and you're in a bed, you could just point and flex your feet. So whatever it is you're doing right now as you move your arms, any issues with the shoulders, go slower and a little less range of motion. But if you can, pretend you're marching. You are leading a parade, okay? You are leading a parade in the middle of New York City, down Broadway, and you are proud, you are working it, Good. Now I want you to slow this down and start reaching, reaching, lifting opposite foot, right, and opposite arm. I want you to think about when you would use this throughout the day. When are you reaching for things? When are you lifting up that leg, right? Is it? Yeah. Beautiful. What else? Anything else? I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> Say it loud. Cell phone. Your cell phone. She's cell reaching phone. for a cell phone. There it is. Oh, of course. Yeah. There it is. Glass right? of water. Yeah, glass of water. Thank you for that. Oh, the, the there remote. There it is. The, <laughs> the remote. remote. Right. Or maybe we're getting up and getting the remote. Good. Anything else you could think of? Yes, no? I'm glad that no one said, a, you know, like a fries or a cheeseburger from, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, that fresh fruit and everything that hydrates us, right, to give us that extra water, extra vitamins, minerals, beautiful. Good, stay right here, feet nice and shoulder width apart. If you're in a chair, you can always be out to your chair leg. So I want you to really take those feet nice and wide. That's your foundation, right? We build a house just like our bodies. We need that wide foundation, otherwise we tip over. There it is, good. So standing, don't be afraid to walk with the feet a little wider. Good, and now let's roll the shoulders forward. Good, keep it going. All right, so if you hear any clicks or pops or cracks, okay, it's okay, right? As long as we're not in pain, we've gotta get those shoulders moving. Good, now one roll back, and now I need a big bear hug, big bear hug, round it. A lot of room between the shoulder blades, and now open it up like I'm the statue overlooking Rio de Janeiro. There we go. Good. <laughs> Round it one more time. Good. Open up that chest. This is where opening up that great posture for good balance. Oh, bring that down and take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And you are ready for your next trivia question. Okay, true or false? According to recent polls in the United States, Spring is the time when more people start dating. All right, it actually is true. Get your hands up in the air. Get your hands up. What happens in the spring? Do people go outside more? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Is it end of hibernation? Yes. Yes. Right? It's not just bears, it's us, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to think of, yes, absolutely, that is actually true. That is a really, so if you're on Jeopardy, now you know. Um, but the other thing I want you to, to mention is that 
when people are going out more, does your fall risk, do you think it goes up or down in the spring? Up. Up. Yeah. Up. 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 It goes up because yeah. everyone's out now. You may not realize the shaky steps or there's something. So again, that's just something to be aware of when you're leaving your home and you're going somewhere, you're sitting outside getting a little vitamin D in the sun. All right, next question. Next question, here we go. True or false, if you've lost or gained weight over the winter months, you should think about buying new clothes. True or false? Oh, that is false! Okay. <laughs> you should be buying new clothes or thinking about it. Okay, why, why? Think about this, why is this important? Say you've lost a bunch of weight over the winter. We'll start here. Oh, lost okay. a bunch of weight. Yeah. What? What's buy. going on? What's going on with the clothing? If you're wearing you the same clothing. On you and could be depressing. <laughs> no, you need to go huge out. Huge yeah. fall yeah. risk. Yeah. Huge yeah. fall risk. If you have pants that don't fit. Do you ever have mm -hmm. pants that fall down? Yeah. Huge fall. Trip. Fall, right? right? If you have huge flowing, you know, like a kimono, right? Lots of flowing clothing. Huge fall risk. Fall risk. Huge fall risk. Getting caught on doorknobs, on handles, on banisters. Have you ever locked, have you ever um, closed the car door on a dress or a skirt or, um, yeah. or a jacket? In the days when we wore dresses, right. yes. Right? <laughs> but these are, the, these are the things I want you to think about now getting caught on something. So if your clothing is not fitting right, now let's go the other way. What if maybe you put on some pounds over the winter and you're wearing, you're squeezing into the same outfits. What's happening? Why is that a fall Some risk? Circulation. 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 <gasps> Have you ever had your uh, legs go numb? Your foot yeah. go numb? Mm -hmm. Do you ever try to walk on that? Yeah. Huge fall risk. Huge fall risk. Mm -hmm. So little things like this that we may not think of are really important. So with that said, what we need to do, start moving again. That's what we need to start moving. Here we go. Good, enough talk, more move, more action. All right, so you are marching. And remember, this can be done standing, seated, right? Lying down, although we wanna get you going. So what do we need to do? Shoulders back, chest is lifted, abdominals engaged, which means we are practicing our perfect posture. There it is, good. You're gonna keep marching this time. You're gonna put up your left hand and your right hand. Good, there it is. Oh, you all look, you all look guilty. You all look guilty right now, here we go. As we do this, we're gonna slow down the legs and tap the opposite knee. Good, so pick up that leg just as high as you'd like. Totally up to you. As we do this, we're working those hip flexors, right? Because as we get older, they get tight. All right, we're sitting a lot. They get weak and tight, which means when we get up, sometimes we're doing the little truffle shuffle as we're walking. So we want to make sure that we're using those hip flexors and those muscles go right into your core, right into the stomach. And those help our balance. There we go. This is going to get better. So you can go at your own pace. I'm just a suggestion. But we're going to take this little coordination. And we're going to have a single, single, double. So ready, single. Single, double. Uh oh. <laughs> single, single, double. Do it again. Single, single, double. double. Now just double. doubles. Double, double. Uh oh. <laughs> double, double, double. Now triple. Three, two, one. Single, single, single. Triple. <laughs> Three, two, one. Double. Two, one. Single. Double, two, one, single, single, double. Yeah, oh, and march it out. Yes, yeah, a little coordination that lighten up the brain like cells. Like Simon Says. I know, but my name's Christine, right? Isn't that great? Says. There it is, there it is, perfect. All right, let's do this again. Let's take the hands now right on the thighs. What I want you to do is keep those feet wide, and we're gonna lean forward, keeping the back nice and flat, and then lean back and touch your shoulder blades on the chair. Good, let's lean forward. Again, keeping the head above the heart, neck in line with the spine, and lean back. Good, so right now we're doing a little core work, and this time what I want you to do is when you lean forward, put a little bit of weight into your feet. A little bit of weight, good. A little bit of weight, perfect. Leaning and back. When you lean back, do you feel a little, little tightness in the, in the stomach, in the core? 
I want you to. If not, tighten it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Do that one more time. Because this is the beginning of our sit to stand. All right, just leaning, putting that body weight in and back. Because now what you're going to do, you are going to put that body weight in and you're going to stand up. Beautiful. And now you're going to sit down. Oh, excellent. Good. And we're going to do that again. This is the <laughs> best. All right. So if you are, I'm going to just say this. Let's assume that maybe sometimes you watch television. Just <laughs> assume that maybe that happens sometimes. Guess what you should be doing during commercials? This exactly what there. we're doing right now. <laughs> Good. And it could be just a couple times. If you could do it 10 times, fantastic. Imagine what that would do if you just did this 10 times, maybe three times during the day. And I know that there's more than three types of commercials that interrupt our favorite show. So don't try and pull that. Oh, there's no commercials, Christine. I'm watching it. You know, nope. <laughs> no, then, then every time someone says a word, like, you know, apple or watermelon or something, then you can play those games. Good. One more time. Let's do it. Up. And then all the way back down. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Give me a big bear hug again. Good. Exhale and open the chest. Oh, good. Do that again. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders backwards. Keep rolling your shoulders backwards. You're going to keep rolling because it is about that time. You're going to keep rolling. You're going you're to roll and you have to listen to me. So there's multitasking going on here, okay? All right, let's do this. This is one of my favorites. Ready? True or false. Spring cleaning is a great time to host a cleaning day for your home and invite friends and family over to help. True or false? Oh, I like that. Ooh. Yes, that, woo! Put your hands up and give yourself a little tap. If you haven't thought of that yet, you are welcome, okay? Well, I've already started that. I washed my windows and told my son to come over and help with some of the really hard Beautiful, ones. that is fantastic. And he will. That is fantastic. Listen carefully, this goes for everyone. I don't care your age, your race, your religion, whatever. If there is something that looks like I don't know, a little dangerous. You have a wobbly chair, a ladder. A... Okay, do you, do you put on your own roof of your house? <laughs> Probably not, right? There's people that specialize. And many times we, we don't think to ask for help. And you know what? When people help, I know that many of us feel like when you provide help for someone, mm -hmm. it actually is selfish because it feels so good. Mm -hmm. So never underestimate the ability to ask for help because it actually makes that person feel needed and wanted. And it also prevents falls because we're not doing things we shouldn't be doing, right? There you go. All right, one more question. One more question for today. And it goes like this. Oh, it's gotta be a good one. Okay. Studies show that babies born in spring are more likely to be optimistic me. That is true. That is true. You must be really optimistic then. Put your hands up. So it is, it, is a, it is like a thing, like a study been done that people, that babies that are born in spring, more optimistic because they've been exposed to more light and more outside weather. Oh. Isn't this interesting? So that myself, born in December, apparently I feel optimistic, but... Um, they, they say that that's something, you know, because of their light exposure and being outside more because of warmer weather through the summer, they're more likely to be optimistic. I don't know. I, it's just research, right? I just, I do the research. You can't kill the messenger. But needless to say, um, I want you to go ahead and sit up nice and tall because we could go on and on and have some fun. But for today, this was our great little demo. And what I want you to do right now is just sit up tall. Close the eyes if you can. And go ahead and take a deep, meaningful breath in your nose. And then exhale slowly out your mouth. We're just gonna try and clear our mind for a minute. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Good, if you feel comfortable, start just rolling your head side to side. I want you to release any tension, any worries anything that you're holding on to and begin to let it go. 
and start to really think about the most important person in the world, yourself. How do you feel? Does your body feel a little bit warmer? Are your muscles feeling good? And bring it back to center. Open the eyes, start to roll the shoulders back just a little bit. Good, as we sit up nice and tall, we're gonna take a deep, meaningful breath in the nose, but when we exhale, I want you to sigh, like, huh, where you let everything go. Anything you're worried about, anything not serving you in life, let it go. Any fears, ready? Let's do it together. Inhale, let's use our arms if you like. Exhale and sigh. Huh. Oh yeah, I wanna hear it. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale, huh. good. Put your hands on your hips. Shoulders back, chest is lifted, abdominals engaged, confident in who we are, ready to conquer the world, the day, empower ourselves over falls, living a fall-proof future because life is too short not to. Take one more deep breath. Exhale. <sighs> and give yourself the biggest round of applause. All right, tell me, how do you feel? Good. Very good. Good? Good? Yeah. Feel a little little looser, got a little oxygen pumping through the blood. Okay, relax. And I want you to think of, as you go forth, lights, camera, action, living your best life, and not being afraid to move, but knowing that you're taking the steps to reduce falls, increase your hydration through eating fruits and vegetables, drinking your water when you can, again, getting your sleep, getting your movement, and most importantly, remembering that you matter and you are the most important person in the world. So with that said, I am super proud of you for coming out and doing something so great for your mind and your body today. And if no one's told you that yet today, I am super proud of you for that. So give yourself a round of applause. I want to thank Christine Conti for joining us today and sharing her wisdom and insight and for making it fun. I want to thank our volunteers, Harriet, Alma, Judy, and Kaberi, for coming out and showing us how it's done. Thank you for watching this episode of Aging Insights TV, also available as a podcast. To find out more information and to view previous episodes, please visit our website at www.njaaw.org and click on Aging Insights. Aging Insights is brought to you with the support of our funders, supporters, and viewers like you. I want to thank our partners here at PCTV for helping us bring our guests to you today. If you need information or resources about services in your area, please contact your county office on aging. Their phone number can be found on our website, or you can dial the state hotline at 877-222-3737. You can also find a wide range of resources for older adults on our website at njaaw.org.